Hey guys, it's Amy here, and today I'm going to be doing my July wrap up. So I only read three bits in July, and that's a little bit disappointing, but I did get a job, and lots of other things were happening, so I think that's okay. And of those three books, I'm actually just going to talk to you about two of them today, as one of them was Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which is the book I'm reading for the Penguin YA Summer Readathon, and I will be talking about that one in a video on Monday the 11th of August, which is this Monday coming. So the first book I read in July was Looking for Alaska by John Green. This follows the story of a boy named Miles who falls in love with a young girl called Alaska. They attend school together and something awful happens, and it's all about how they all cope with that. This is the third book I've read from John Green, the other two being The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns. I really enjoyed The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Towns I didn't enjoy that much, and I would say Looking for Alaska has topped them both. I really, really enjoyed this read. I was watching a video from Well Done Books the other day and I completely agree with something he said, that the characters in John Green books speak in a way that is much older than their years. So these people are at school and they're like 16, 17, 18, but quite often I feel like I'm reading the, the words of somebody who's in their mid-30s. They're very witty, very well-spoken, and that's not a bad thing. I find it really funny and I really enjoy reading them, but it doesn't seem as realistic and I definitely wouldn't imagine myself having spoken like that in school or been as like quick with the comebacks. But overall I found the plot and the characters to be something that really kept me on my toes. As I didn't know anything about this book beforehand there was something that happened in the middle that completely shocked me and I didn't really guess that it was coming so that was quite an eventful thing. I won't tell you what it is in case you haven't read it and I don't want to spoil you but if you've read it you'll know what happens about midway through which is quite disastrous. So I would say if you enjoy John Green or if you haven't read anything from him yet I definitely think this would be a good first read. Four out of five stars. The second book I want to talk to you about is Sand by Hugh Howie which was sent to me by Random House which was really nice of them. This book has nothing to do with the other trilogy by Hugh Howie which I've spoken about in videos before, the one with wool, shift and dust in it. This is something new and completely different, a whole new world and it was fantastic. I really enjoyed this book. First things first, let's talk about this cover. It's probably one of the most gorgeous covers I've ever seen. And just you wait, it gets even better. Inside the dust jacket is a lovely map which I think is reversible so you can have this on the outside of your book if you want. But probably my favourite part is the print on the actual cover itself which is this little hand poking out of the sand which will make sense once I explain what the book is about but don't you think this is an absolutely gorgeous cover I thought it needed mentioning it's just fantastic so what is this book about basically it's set in the future where everything is covered in sand people who live in this world are constantly having to get sand out of everything they're having to dig the homes out of the sand they're having to cover everything in sand make sure they can get water still because it's being buried deep below all the sand and there are people who live in this world who are sand divers and they have these special suits kind of like a scuba diving suit which they then jump into the sand and the suit pulls them down into the sand but radiates the sand off of them so they're still able to move it's like they're swimming but in the sand so these sand divers are on the hunt they're trying to find these buried treasures of cities that have long been lost to the sand I thought this was an absolutely phenomenal idea for a book I've never heard of anything like it and I really enjoyed it in this book we follow one family and throughout the book the viewpoints change to each member of the family we start with the oldest brother Palmer who gets stuck underneath the sand and you'll have to read it to see whether he gets out or not but I really love the different viewpoints of the eldest and then the youngest siblings and how they're all managing to survive separately in this world and then all the other bad things that may be happening as well at the same time not just the sand it's brilliant and I really would suggest if you've read anything of Hugh Howie before you'll know that he is a fantastic writer but I would say if you don't want to have a whole trilogy to read then pick this one up it's just a standalone and I really wish it wasn't I wish there were more but maybe there will be I don't know let me know if you've read this one and if you enjoyed it or if you haven't read anything by Hugh Howie let me know if this interests you four out of five stars again so that's the end of the reviews for this video I will be talking about Will Grayson Will Grayson on Monday in my video then if you're reading this book at the moment or if you've read it recently or at any point in your life and then come and join us on Monday for a discussion and I will be sharing my opinions on this book with you. So that's everything for today guys, I will leave links to everything down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye! The first series that I have yet to finish is The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. 